Hi everyone, today I'm going to be making some communication badges, and then practicing making bars with a technique I picked up from Koala Soap, link for her channel is below. I'll be using 3 pounds of goat's milk soap, I'm using this particular brand because I'm planning on giving this as a gift and coconut is a problem. Then I also read in my other supplies. A fragrance blend I created for this project. It's lilac and lavender. I call it Lilas. First step. Taking the goat's milk soap, the soap cutter and a piece of parchment paper to protect the baking mats. We'll be doing the comb badges first, so I make sure that mold is handy. After gloving up and unwrapping the soap, I cut it up into cubes, as close to consistent size as possible, a pound each goes into each funnel cup. This makes the soap easier to melt, but before I melt, I prep the color, the rubbing alcohol goes into each little container followed by the amount of color thought to be needed. Then melt the soap in the microwave, I did two 30 second sessions with an attempt at stirring in between, then I added 15 seconds on at the end total of 1 minute 15, you don't want to go too long for fear of boiling and burning the soap, any pieces left will melt from the heat of the liquid, stir to bring the temperature down and melt the last bits, add in the color. Spritz the little container with alcohol to make sure you get as much of the color out of the container and into the soap, the alcohol will burn off. Stir to make sure the color is incorporated, usually, once the temperature has dipped under 140, I add in the fragrance. Because the soap is opaque, the copper didn't come out vibrant. So I figured I'd try some alcohol and mica straight in the mold. Yeah, should have mixed up a small batch of alcohol and mica and used a paintbrush. Now I know what to do for next time. Ugh! Already forming a skin. Going to try to carefully pour the mixture into the bottom parts of the molds anyway. Spritz with alcohol to remove air bubbles. I hate moving molds once they're poured and not set but room is needed for the next part. Using the jelly roll mat, I put it on the rack so it's easier to move around. Here I'll be using the technique I picked up from Koala Soap. I then melted another pound, added the purple and fragrance and stirred it all together. In the badge mold, I made hatch marks on what was there, spritzed with alcohol, and then poured the purple soap on top. I should have poured when the soap was warmer. And, it overflowed, now I'll have to trim the pieces once they've set and been unmolded. Those get set to the side to harden. And the jelly roll mold is brought back because it's harder than it should be for the layering. I make some hatch marks on it and spritz it with alcohol to give it a chance to work better together. I pour the purple on top. And yes, it's purple, it looks grey because the light above me has a yellow tint to it. And because it came out so pale and I want a darker contrast, I decided to sprinkle on some mica in hopes it'll work. I repeated alternating the soaps and sprinkling in mica until I almost had no soap left and the jelly roll mold was overloaded. Perhaps I should have used the purple cake pan mold this time. After letting it sit for a bit, it set up. I checked the temperature for the fun of it. And this is why I wanted to use the jelly roll mold. Figured it might be easier to get it going. Or a long mold, it'll be a good thing to use. But for the square mold, I don't know. It all has to get chopped up and pulled apart anyway to fit into the square mold. 
I occasionally spritz with alcohol. I want the top to be flat so I try to keep it level. Because I have so much left over, I grab my long mold. Spritz it with alcohol. Then I put some chopped up pieces in. I then melt down the last funnel cup of soap. I decide to leave it the color it is. No white gold like I thought I'd do in the beginning. I stir to make sure all the pieces are melted. I add in fragrance. And whoops, dropped in the dropper. I poke holes in the soap in the square mold to make sure all the original colored soap fills all the nooks and crannies. I spritz everything with alcohol. Then I pour the soap into the molds. Slowly to make sure it fills all the spots and pushes out any air bubbles. I tap the mold onto the table hoping to release and bring any remaining air bubbles to the surface. Then I spritz the top with alcohol. Since there's soap left over still, I toss some into the funnel cup and more into the long mold. It gets melted down. I repeat pouring and melting if need be. Being careful not to heat the soap too much, until the molds are full and all the soap is used. The molds are set aside so the blocks of soap can harden. A few hours later I came back to unmold. First, the communication badges. One of them became separated from the copper. Oh well, the rest seemed to be okay. The mica I put into the mold didn't allow for some of the finer details to appear. I then used a peeler to carefully trim off the excess. Next, the square block, I pull out the mold from the frame hub you made for it. Pop it out and inspect it. Looks like some air pockets stayed. I cut 1 inch slabs. I do like the patterns. but the air pockets leaving behind craters. Ugh! I'll have some big pieces for my future bag. Last, I do the block from the long mold. It's not its usual height but that's okay. I get it into the guide for cutting, figuring I'll make it 2 and a half to a 3 inch cut. Just as I'm about ready to, I decide to switch out cutters. Flat cutter in hand, I create the bars.
the last little bit could work well in a bathroom as a soap for washing hands. Afterwards, I beveled the edges to spruce them up a bit and show some of the interior. The shavings are put into a storage bag for future use in other projects. And there you have it, the com badges and bars made from melt and pour soap. Thanks for watching. See you next time.